when I go to the polls, what am I saying yes to? You're saying yes to making a constitution, once again, neutral on the issue of abortion. Really, a no vote just keeps things the way they are and keeps these decisions between a woman, her family, and you know, with the consultation of her personal faith and of course her doctor. Which is the reason why Danielle Walker and the Vote No campaign are working hard. Walker tells us what she thinks Amendment 1 is really all about. I think it just comes down to who do you want to be making those decisions on whether or not to carry a, a child to term, adopt a child out, or end a pregnancy, especially in crisis situations rape and incest or again if your life is at stake. On the other side, proponents of Amendment 1 are hoping to put that decision into the hands of politicians. To me, it puts it, it puts it all back in the hands of the person through their elected officials. That's how government works. We uh, elect officials that rep will represent our beliefs and our desires. But not everyone agrees. What I'm afraid the end game is on this is for them to restrict abortion to the point where it's not a safe and legal option for women who ultimately want to seek that. But White says the goal of the amendment isn't about outlawing abortions. It's about reinstating those common sense protections like placing stricter regulations on abortion clinics throughout the state or what she calls making the Constitution neutral again. She explains to us what she thinks the word neutral means. That means uh, that there is not an inherent right in the Constitution to abortion that um, it's, it's not something that's automatically, um, federally, Tennessee does have to do abortions. 